Hey, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing today? It's your boy Alex with the Inside Scoop. So today, I wanted to give a, a trade idea for those of you that are an eight-minute trader. Uh, if you're not sure what eight-minute trader is, you can always check my review. Uh, I'll put it at the top right corner. You can click the link there to check the review of that program after this video. All right, but here, here's an idea, right? In terms of what will really work well with the, with the one-click trader, and it's something I've been trying out uh, that's really working well for me, uh, it's basically using my dashboard with the one click trader. OK, so the dashboard, this what you see over here is going to give you the probable direction of every pair. OK, uh, so, for example, the first column will display the list of pairs. The second column will have the direction. When you see PFL, that means peak formation low. And that means only take buys. So that means if you get an alert on one click trader saying, uh, hey, you know, there's a buy alert, take it right. If this is PFL and if this is PFH, that means peak formation high. That means the trend is going downwards. Then you take sell alerts. So again, to recap, PFL, take buy alerts, PFH, take sell alerts. OK. Uh, the third column status column is ADR. OK, ADR is average daily range. All right. So the next set of one, two, three, four, five columns, you don't really need to know what they are, but I'll just explain what they are in case you're curious. OK, so status column, average daily range. All right. So every pair has an average amount of pips that it moves. OK, um, before it reverses. So, for example, US 30 moves roughly about 9057 pips before it reverses. OK, so currently it's saying that it has moved about 8090 pips, which is this fifth column here that says DR. OK, today alone, it moved 3377 pips. So this column here is how many pips it moved for that day, the ADR pips. And then daily range um, is basically how many pips it has moved from this peak. See, this is the uh, the PFL. So the peak formed on the 26th of April. OK, um, this second to last column, stop hunt column, just basically means that uh, from the beginning of the day, they have, you know, basically try to hit the stops before moving so the bigger the number in the stop hunt column the better that trade is again you don't really need to know what this is but just stick with the concept of when is pfl take buys only buys and when is pfh take only sells and this will help you to be more accurate uh in taking alerts uh from eight minute trader okay all right. Um, and then this last column, you don't really need to worry about it, but it's just basically the amount of pips in the Asian range from top to bottom. OK, so this would basically measure the consolidation within the Asian range. And that's what AR pips is uh, the last column there. OK. All right. So going with this concept now, um, US 30 says on April 26, it was in a PFL situation all right so on april 27 was when it would have indicated that this is a peak formation low right so it, from april 27 onwards all you're looking for is buy so now let's flip over to one click trader okay so now we flip over to one click trader and if i go to us 30 right so remember april 27 so let's go back uh one OK, so we have a buy there, but this one would have hit our stops because price did go down. Uh, let's see if there's any more buys for that day. Nope. So we're checking today and you see today there's a buy alert right here. All right. There's a buy alert right here. So. Do we take that buy? Yes. Right. Because US 30 is in a PFL condition. So if you were to take that buy. Right. Let me see if I can have my measuring tool here. So if you were to take that buy, sorry, let me drag it the other way. Let's see what's the risk to reward. So the risk to reward is roughly just even at the main entry. 
the risk to reward here is about 20 R. That's 20 R. Okay, so that means that basically you risked one dollar to make twenty dollars or one percent of your account to make twenty percent of your account in one day if you were to ride this all the way to the top okay so this is how easy the dashboard makes it right to be able to uh take trades because you have a likely probability of what direction they're going to go so rather than take buys and sells just take it in line with the direction and you will be that much more accurate, right? And you'll be able to catch a lot of movements, guys. For example, NAS yesterday, which moved 225R, the dashboard was saying that it was in a peak formation low condition, right? So peak formation low condition, you would have taken that NAS trade, right? And you would have gotten a huge amount of pips depending on how aggressive you are in terms of just letting it ride. So this was the buy yesterday that basically set the record for a, an eight minute trader for the amount of risk to reward that a trade have, has ever made. And that was 225 pips, right? So based on the dashboard, you would have taken that trade and you'd have been able to beg some money. Okay. All right. So that's, that's in a nutshell, basically that's the simplicity of it. Just looking at the dashboard and taking trades in line with the dashboard. Let's take a, a look at a couple more here, right? Let's start. AUD JPY says that on the 26th of April, it was in a peak formation low situation. Okay. So basically you're only looking for buys. So an eight minute trader on the 27th, you're looking for buys on the 28th. You're looking for buys until you get um, you know, a uh, PFH condition where you're looking for sales, you just know that the trade is likely to go in just one way, which is buys, right? So even today on the market open call for US 30, I had, uh, you know, the, the strong probability that it was going to go up. And that's exactly what it did on the Zoom call that we joined with the coach, right? And it went up and everybody made money on the Zoom call this morning, right? So, the dashboard called it out on the on what the 27th it would have been that it marked this as a peak right so it would have caught that on the 26th um you know but the movement kind of was on the 27 i think right about here would have when it would have detected this as a peak formation low so if you were just to ride buys all along just taking buys you you know so you have that much more probability of winning your trades and and honestly making um being able to uh beg a lot of pips okay let's look at another one so um cad jpy look at cad jpy as well 26 was a peak formation low. If you were just taking buys, boom, that's about 259 pips to the upside. <laughs> Crazy or what? That's amazing. All right, let's look at one more, guys. And if you're not a believer, by the time we look at you know one, this one, then you know, hey, you can keep doing the same thing you're doing, but you know, just trying to catch every signal out there, it's not going to make you as profitable as knowing you know, uh, just having a high probability of what direction that the pair is going to go. And this is very easy, guys. Any be even beginners can use this dashboard. It's very easy. PFL, you buy. PFH, you sell. All right. So let's look at EuroCAD. All right. EuroCAD. So if it's blank, that means it has not detected a peak. Okay, guys. So EuroCAD said that um, April 26 was uh, PFH. So we're only looking for sells. Boom, look at that. So from the 27th, you're only looking for sells. And if you caught a sell there, it would have been about 118 pips. Okay. All right. So now let me flip over to EuroCAD in 8-Minute Trader. So we're looking again from the 26th, um, ideally 27th, is when we'll be looking for sells, right? Because that's the next day after this peak. So from the 27th, we're looking for sells. So let's have a look at the 27th i already see even sells for today so let's take a look at the 27 let's see if there was any sales oh look at that look at that oh that's beautiful look at that so boom 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 um let's say maybe this one hey your stop loss because it went up a little bit so look at this one you'd have taken this one you'd have begged some pips uh probably could have also taken the pullback entries as well so you'd have taken a sell right here Oh, look at that. You'd have rolled this thing all the way down. 
all right and you can exit you can exit at these buys if you want or exit at the end of the day whichever your exit strategy is um, so you look at uh, this day okay so maybe you take these cells and you lose it but look at that you make it all back right here just taking this cell here and boom look at that and you're net positive right maybe you take this one as well you're net positive right and that's all just being able to know the direction and look at the direction that it headed in right dashboard called it from here it went down guys th this is as easy as it gets to trade in this is easy right so when you know this you can actually even use one click to pass prop firm challenges right because now you know the direction that is going to head in right all right so if you have any questions you can reach out to me uh the dashboard is again free for anybody um that joined eight minute trader under me i'm going to make the dashboard free for you uh if you're not on my team for eight minute trader um it will be a very low fee to use the dashboard okay so just reach out to me on telegram my telegram is in the description of this video all right take care guys god bless bye